The sparkling blue panels and large metal structure may be reminiscent of a force field generator, but William Penn's industrial tech program isn't quite that futuristic. The photovoltaic panels, or solar panels, are being formed into a solar array. Given the array's size, its power output may surprise you. There are eight panels. Uh, each is rated at 240 watts, which is a total of uh, about 1.9 kilowatts. You know, an incandescent bulb is 100 watts, so it'd be 19 light bulbs or, you know, maybe a toaster. The class has only been working to build the array outside for the last couple of weeks, but the design process has been going on since the beginning of this school year. Students have learned structural design, wiring, and principles of power production, as well as how to work with utilities companies. There's a, a fairly detailed, you know, process that you have to go through just to meet the requirements of the utility companies to make sure that what we're producing is compatible with what they're producing and that we don't backfeed the system and electrocute their workers. Industrial tech student and senior Josh Molinex says that classes like the alternate energy course have helped prepare him for future jobs. I've taken a look into mid-American energy uh, just along the lines of uh, the title was a design distribution technician position. And so what that entails is uh, designing the power grids or power stations. Solar technology continues to lower in price and improve in efficiency and Hoeksma thinks it'll likely become more common. If that's the case, Penn students will certainly be ready. For WPNN, I'm Lucas Burns.